Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So I'm waiting for my friend, they're running a little bit behind. So to be honest, I don't even know if we have time for a video, but let's just like wing it. And yeah, that's the only insight I got. I got free time. So the decks we're gonna use are the Angel Archangel Power Tarot and Flower Oracle. Why? Because in the card deck shelf, they were sitting beside each other and it was the luck of the draw. So, um, the energy I'm picking up as I shuffle this is a little bit thick. It seems like almost honey. Um, I don't know if this is in a good aspect or if it's supposed to be running a little bit more flowy or smoother, but that's what I'm getting. Uh, so I guess honey and flowers go together. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, how many cards? Three and a pyramid. One. So we got the star in reverse as the first one to come out. We have the empress in the upright. And then we have the wheel in reverse. And then this one came out as well. This one is the Knight of Gabriel. Oh, time to take action with this wheel in reverse. It's not time to take action. What What is going on in this? So let's keep that one as well. And only two flowers, they say. Okay. So, oh, interesting. So when I was shuffling, um, I heard one of my coworkers kind of like pop into my head. And every time someone's like, hey, how's it going? He's always like, live in the dream. And, and I remember I heard something somewhere that was like the new response to that. And it was funny, but I can't remember that. But um, when I heard, I saw the star in reverse. And the star says, a dream come true. It was in reverse. Um, so it says, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. And the, and the thing, the new saying, it was all about like how you wake up and you deal with what you have to deal with anyways. It's like a crummy circumstance, right? When you say live in the dream, normally you don't really mean it. But when I saw the Empress, right, the star in reverse and I saw the Empress, I saw it as in this very moment, you really are living the dream. So you need to see it. So that's why this wheel has stopped. And that's why this Knight of Gabriel's in reverse. Time to take action. No, it's not because you're already in that dream energy, they say. So this one says, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And I feel like that instinctively knowing what to do does apply for this because that's what the Empress kind of embodies. And look at her, she is that honey color. It says time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded with luxurious or abundant resources. So with the flowers, we have reach for the stars, which I find funny because the stars are in reverse. There is a star card. It's time to reach for this. And then the next one to come out is wise soul. So reach for the stars says you deserve only the best. And this is all you should focus your attention on. You should only focus on the honey of the situation. I feel like the honey could be like a fly trap or a sticky situation, but I'm seeing the honey as healing and soothing. And that's, that's what kind of needs to happen in this. I feel like one of them said an end of a difficult situation, the star card. And you, um, you did get through something, but it's like that healing time. It's like tapping into the medicinal properties and understanding that you're a wise soul. The wise soul says your soul carries ancient wisdom. So you know how to take that honey and how to heal and use the properties for better. And it says, please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. So that's what I saw. I saw this star. I see, I see this energy starts off as the Knight of Gabriel. And it's like, I'm gonna go out there and pursue things, right? Like charge, go. And then from that, kind of having a mission or a dream or a purpose with the star card. And and with that kind of being a little bit, um, that's how the, the adventure started, right? When the wheel was in the upright, 
new beginnings. It was a new beginning to go out and do something. And it kind of embraced the star card, the star energy. Um, the end of delays, a change in direction that offer, offers happiness. And so when you're in this like young, adventurous energy, um, following your dreams, doing those things, blazing trails, I hear, um, you did it. And so now I'm seeing on the other side of this, there's no longer needing to like, I'm almost seeing like an explorer, explore and find new lands. It said that the honey and everything is right now. And so to sit in your empress energy and know that you don't need to go out and like forage into new territory and create all these new things. I feel like your passions and your dreams and your hopes are at your fingertips. It's right there. Um, so it's time to act upon your plans. Whereas before it was all about getting to your plans. I feel like now is when the plans are unfolding. So let's shuffle a bit more cards uh because mainly this is just saying you kind of you kind of went through your your young energy right the child energy here we have the world and that that's what this is saying there's so many are um, major arcana cards here that this is like a major shift this is a life changing thing so at the time we kind of always have like youth and adolescence energy and this energy um it's like put a stop to it and I feel like you've been that for so long that like you create an identity around that. So now it's time to step in more into the Empress role where it says a very happy ending. And that happy ending is you looking at all these flowers, right? Over here we have the orchid and azaleas and both of them are pink. So both of them have compassion and love from this wise soul, right? You reached for your dreams and you gained wisdom about it. And now you're in this empress energy, the honey type energy. So it says coming full circle and you're with your spiritual growth and your insights. So you have this identity that you're kind of like this, this really young, um, I go for what I want adventure energy, but somewhere along the lines, like tr truth and time, right? And, and it's, it's slower now. And that's what I'm seeing that thick honey. It's like trying to like swim through like swim through a pool, no problem, pool of water. But a pool of honey, it's like more denser. And I'm just seeing things slow down. And you being like, now that things are slow, like I identify with this busy bee that has to go make the honey. So there's just a mind shift with that. You don't have to be this star energy anymore, right? It says a dream come true. Yeah, it's already come true. You've already embodied it. Um, it says believe in yourself in the end of a difficult situation. So the main thing with this young energy is it had that oomph for the dreams to go forward, but it was also trying to avoid something. There's something in the past that it didn't like or a difficulty or, you know, maybe it was like money and resources or time or something, but you kind of have worked through that. So it's no longer applicable. And yeah. So the next one to come out was the Ten of Raphael, which Raphael is cups in this, all about emotions and healing. It is in reverse. So it says love and blessings fill your life. And I and I truly believe this with all the pink kind of coming on these cards. So there's the Ten of Raphael, right? Have a little picnic out there with their children playing. There's all this peace and contentment. This is the energy that I feel like when you're sitting there, it's so hard to actually just sit. You want to be like that energy in the background that's like running and like, I got to go, I got to go do this. I got to do this. And it's just like, actually sit down and enjoy the milk and honey, right? The sweetness to life. Um, yeah. The miracle of everything right now is in this present moment. And so, I don't know. I feel like picnic energy is exactly what... Like this one's all in the forest. Um, what else do you want to really share? There's abundance and resources. So that's what I'm also seeing is like in the past being, I'm hearing penny pinching or like being kind of like, you know, like bare bones of things. Like maybe when you went for groceries, you only got like no name or, you know, things like that. And so I'm seeing now that you have more time, you have more 
resources and it says that you could do things a little bit more luxurious. I feel like this is a person who's like just basic necessities and spirit saying like honey, honey is healing. Like there's a little bit of like if you add a little extra sweetness onto things, um, it will it will soothe the heart. I feel like there has been that past problem that the star and this night energy kind of was running away from, but really was working through it. And so you just have to realize you worked through it. And from that, you reached your goal. You're no longer needing to reach for the stars. And you've gained this, this knowledge and this wisdom that comes with it. it. says you deserve only the best. And that's that Empress energy. So luxurious or abundant resources. That's kind of at your fingertips. Um, they're saying pull three more and we'll just make this a super quick video because I feel like that's the message. Is like you kind of, it's time to like indulge a little bit. This is someone who's like a bare minimum, like saving money, right? It's like they go, I don't know. So the first card that came out said, you're healed. The healing you've prayed for is on the way, right? You're already in this Empress energy. Whatever it was in the past of the lack of whatever that was, like that's not your story anymore. So there's a little bit of this identity that needs to be like let go with it. And so here we have peer pressure in reverse. Um, what about peer pressure? I gotta see what this one is. With unity. Peer pressure with unity, you're healed. This has something to do with your goals and dreams and wisdom. The reason why this Tina Raphael, love and blessings fill your life. You don't see the love and the blessings yet. So there is no harmonious relationship within the family. Um, and so I see like in the past. What about the past? It has to do with pink, yellow. So pink with the stars difficult situation. So you obviously had a relationship in the past that you, you kind of worked through. It kind of hurt your heart. And this heart was all about you stepping back into your power, right? It said here, take time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And so you found yourself in this peer pressure situation. It says, don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what's the right choice. And it was in reverse. And that's what you kind of learned is I see either running from this relationship or your dream, whatever it was that was your dream, you almost got there. And I feel like in the past, people kind of pressured you or like tainted it. They would be like, oh, you're not ready for this. Oh, you know, you need, you need more wisdom. You need more something. I don't know whatever it is, but it kind of burnt you. And it's so it like, it spun you on this journey of healing. And so again, it says the healing that you prayed for is on the way. It's not on the way. It's already happened right? The water went from super fluid and really hard, right? Um, I'm being seen with this star card, how she's pouring the jug um, to earth. And the jug of what this means is usually like, this is like totally Aquarius card, but they're the water bearers, right? They hold the jug and the jug is wisdom and knowledge. And so from that is like this wise soul. Your soul carries ancient wisdom. And so that's what I see a little bit of that coming back to the earth and, and learning from it. But I see like the liquid trying to hold liquid is hard, but trying like honey or something thicker. It's, it's just more, they're just saying tap into the healing ancient frequencies of honey. Honey never goes bad. There's something to do with that and your healing. And so with that comes this unity. It says you're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Use this sacred bond to heal your family, your friends, and yourself. So you're no longer in this like young childish energy, a knight that needs to go out there and force things. I see you standing in this like empress honey love energy. It says time to take action on your plans. So I feel like before you were charging for your dreams, but now you're in your dreams. So that's the difference. Creativity is rewarded. 
right? So you can still see things and and still kind of create and be the star energy, but it's not like when I see the stars, they're so far away from us, so unobtainable. Um, look, she's glowing. She is the star. And that's what I'm seeing is in this moment, in this beauty, in this family dynamic, you're this loving, nurturing, honey healed energy. And it's time for you to kind of share that gift um, with the unity of all. Um, healer, healer, healed is what I'm seeing. And so it's time to time to go for it. Like you've end a really long cycle. And that long cycle was like this immature, not ready energy to like, I don't know. It's almost like that was the goal that you worked for. And now that you're there, it's like, well, what now? And that's the exciting part. So I pulled one more just to like kind of wrap it up. And we got two of Michael, um, which is all about two of swords, not knowing which decision to make. And it said, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Um, Overanalyzing a problem and finding a compromise. So with this family dynamic, it seems that things just aren't quite working as you wished. And this family dynamic, there's just no trust. It's not learning how to trust others. But when you trust yourself, especially when you're in this intuitive empress energy, you have that mother's knowing, mother's intuition, whatever you want to call it, the divine feminine energy. Um, even if you're not a mom, you have this feminine intuition and so if you don't trust others, trust yourself. Trust that you understand what's really being going on in this situation. Um, I feel like there are a little bit things hidden. And these things that are hidden, I feel like you might not trust the process. But these things that are hidden are like little blessings. As it said, like the golden moment is right now for you to embrace that moment. Um, so I think what you see on the outside is just like things aren't quite clicked yet or not seeing quite a happy home in this unity energy, but it is, it's there. And, and it's time for you to live luxuriously. It's time for you to have that happy, abundant home life. Um, the decision is just you trusting your intuition. I feel like intuitively, you know what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to be, and you've already done that and you already are that. And so just be. So with that, we'll leave it there. Have a good day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.